tell us what services Family and Children's provides. Yeah. You know, the organization, as I mentioned, has been around for more than 100 years, a 131 time. to be exact. Started out as a children's orphanage in Nassau County in the truest sense of the word. So all the good and bad that goes along with orphanages was endemic to this organization. But over time, the organization has grown to be um, one of the largest nonprofits on Long Island, right. uh, providing a whole host of services um, to folks across the lifespan, so young people, families, even seniors. So right now we have more than two dozen programs, uh, which includes things um, like two shelters for runaway and homeless youth, the only shelters in Nassau County for runaway and homeless wow. youth. Um, a PINS diversion and family mediation program for families that are struggling, uh, particularly with adolescents. Really? Um, to so not necessarily anything to do with drugs or No, alcohol, these are kids who happen. are being kids and perhaps mm -hmm. have behavioral issues that go beyond the extreme. And families, typically, who are overworked and really need some support and guidance in how to manage sure. some of these behaviors. And I think in, in the long run, you're actually preventing them that's exactly it. That's that's the notion here. Is like you know, can, can we, you know, shore up some of that so that families and kids aren't turning to substance abuse, so that yeah. families don't need to have their kid arrested in order to bring about change. Yeah. Um, and you see, you know, the heartwarming piece of this, similar to addiction, is that families come in one way and they leave in a very different way, and you you come to understand that just a little bit of help goes a long way. PIN stands for Person in Need of Supervision, um, and we do PIN's Diversion. Um, it's for families who have a, a child or um, an adolescent who they feel is out of control, um, and they are interested in potentially involving the court to get what's called the PIN's Petition, where the court could potentially deem a child uncontrollable and potentially put them in a residential facility. So what we do is try to divert that. We work with the families um, to try to find out what is behind the behaviors that the child is displaying and then put services in place to address those behaviors and hope to see change within the family, within the child, and within the child's environment. Um, it's helped me out a lot, changed a lot of things. You know, I made changes for myself and, you know, for my family. Um, yeah, I mean, it's helped me out a lot. I can't even put any other words. You know, if I did a, if I wasn't family children, I'd probably be, you know, back to what I was doing, and it was just, it just kept getting in trouble and, you know, getting high. Step Up to Success has allowed family and children's programs to provide a different level of services to the families that we already see. It has also allowed us to take a look at some of the families that we would not necessarily work with. Uh, in the Youth Advisory Council, for example, this was not, this is also an initiative and we are now delivering services differently to the youth in the village of Hempstead, predominantly those that are attend the Hempstead High School. One of the first few things I got introduced to when I got to ABGS Middle School in Hempstead was um, the Family and Children's Association's Promise Project. I had no idea what it was up until um, I got to do an interview and they basically told me, we're here to help you. Um, so along the lines, I did join, and then every day after school, I would always go over to the Promise Building and always have help with homework, um, extra tutoring if I needed it, projects done on time. The resources there were unbelievable. The help there was high quality, and there was always somebody there to help you when you needed it. So throughout middle school years, especially being a part of the first graduating class that graduated with them, um, it felt pretty good. And I know for a fact that I can easily say in a heartbeat that I've learned so much from family and children, the staff, Ms. Raphael, just so many lessons and so many memories that were created along the way that have helped me become the person I am today. Walkabout is a program that's for uh, formerly homeless youth who need a place to live and prepare themselves for growing up. Walkabout's 40 years old, and um, a lot of the services that we provided were based on a 40-year model. So for example, you could get a job flipping hamburgers and eventually rent your own apartment. Now it takes four and a half, four and a half full-time minimum wage jobs to be able to rent a small apartment in Nassau County. So we looked at how can we make this a better program and we came up with the idea of rather than just housing kids and preparing them to leave our house and be on their own, could we make them more successful? And we developed a plan that has um, 15 rungs 
domains and rungs. That's why we call it step up to success, like stepping up on a ladder. And we were teaching young people about housing, about how to get a job, and not just a hamburger flipping job, though any work is important, but jobs where they had a future, going to school, things, even things like that your mom teaches you, which is if you put a red sock in with five white shirts, now you have five pink shirts, stuff that you don't really know if someone doesn't help you learn it. Um, my daughter Molly, uh, we became involved with um, Family and Children's Services um, because we were having difficulty as a family. Um, she's actually my stepdaughter, um, but I, she calls me mom and I call her, she's my daughter. Um, but we had a very difficult time and needed help. And uh, actually we're, we were in crisis. It got pretty bad. Uh, so Molly went to live at Walkabout. Um, and at that time, there was a lot of uh, turmoil and emotion and we were a mess as a family. We weren't working. And what um, Walkabout gave to us was uh, a chance to heal and um, become a family again. Colleagues and myself, we serve seniors, that's uh, citizens in uh, northern Nassau County, uh, 60 years and older. We help uh, to provide them uh, with an array of services and try and uh, link them uh, with, uh, hook them up with uh, benefits and entitlements. Uh, for example, uh, we try to assist them in applying for Medicaid, uh, Medicare, uh, extra help, food stamps, which is called SNAP now, uh, tax abatements, the STAR program, Enhanced STAR, and there's other benefits and entitlements they may be uh, eligible for. And she said, I can help you, and I saw it in her face that she could. And she did. She filled up my papers. I received help with food. I received help. I have an aid. And I received help with getting supplies for my husband, heat, and, and I was running out of oil every two or three months. I only can get 50 gallons at a time because it's so expensive. So she helped me get heat. So believe me, that one time fill up can carry me through the winter because I could still get 50 gallons to keep the tank full. Family and children has helped me so much. And I'm thank, I thank God every day. And they are in my prayers every day. And this is coming from my heart. Um. Family and Children's is a wonderful organization. I've worked here for 16 years. I feel like I grew up here, and um, I love it. And I want to I wanna see it grow. I want to see us be able to reach the clients in the way that we all want to. You know, other people have, you know, tried and whatever, but it wasn't what I needed. And my husband and I always worked, but he just got ill. and. Everything was just bam, shut down. And I, I didn't know where to go. And I didn't know what to do. And family and children helped me. I just, I, I can't, there are no words to describe how grateful I am. You know, um, when I went back, to, I took the, my, I have the sign, and I went back to uh, walk about when Molly went to, after Molly went to boot camp to take a picture of the staff and they were so proud of her. Um, they were in tears. They, they want her to succeed. I saw that they love her, and um, I am forever grateful. There's no way I'll ever be able to repay them. And thank you.